much about his. Yo, uh, Wit, Wit, Wit is a big, a big, uh, gonna be a big part of his team. He's very physical. Um, comes to work every day. He's not afraid of anything. Takes on blocks. Very physical and aggressive. And we need that. We need that drive. He gets us going. Like when I'm about to go in with him on a on a on a, on a drive. Like always telling me, let's go. It gets me hyped up, so I like that. So I, I very much like uh, playing with Wit, and I look forward to playing with him during the season. Has he talked much at all about his his journey to try and get back? Home no, I have not. I heard a little um, things about it, but uh, I'm just happy that he's healthy now. He's good to go, and we, uh, it's going to be a big help for us. Um, Liam, just coming from Syracuse and playing in his defense, you know, what has just kind of been some of the biggest hurdles for you to adjust to this? You know, whether it's new teammates, new scheme, or whatever. My my biggest thing was probably just getting used to the uh, the area, like uh, scheme wise. Like I was I was very comfortable with it. Um, I, and like I said, Coach uh, Coach Mitch, uh, my position coach, did a really good job in like, making sure we all understand it and like teaching this um, piece by piece of how why we not just why we doing it, but why it works and why like how it works for the whole defense. So. I wouldn't say it was like a challenge. It was just more just making sure, trusting myself and telling myself I have the confidence I've been here before and just like trusting myself and my teammates and my coaches. In terms of what they're asking you to do, and it's obviously a need for someone to get behind the line of scrimmage and bring but did you see maybe more upside here than, than what you were doing at Syracuse? Yeah, so most, most, most definitely. Kind of I most definitely do. Uh, like I said, like uh, here, like I can focus just one thing, rush, which is rushing the pass and creating uh, havoc in the backfield. Like at Syracuse, I was on and off the ball, so I would do that some plays, and I would like drop back in coverage and like do things that I, like I wasn't necessary. I wouldn't say I wasn't comfortable with, but I just like I just knew what my passion was was to get to the quarterback, and get in the backfield, not running the middle seam and doing stuff like that. But I just did what I had to do to help the team win. It's obviously early, but you know, you find out a lot when you guys line up against a team like Alabama. But, you know, what do you think you have in this group um, between? Presumably the top four or five that have been running in the spring. I mean, like, like it's not. I'm not the only person that has experience in this room. Like uh, DP and Aaron Witt, they played against LSU, which is a championship caliber team last year. Uh, John Pye is like he just has that dog in him. I feel like we will all, we will be all be up for the challenge. Like I feel like we could line up, line up against anybody and cause havoc. It doesn't matter who it is. Like as long as we trust where our fundamentals are, what we do, I feel like we could do some big things for this room and this team. I imagine you've been asking about this already, but uh, you know, you had kind of a public commitment, recommitment here. What do you think you just learned about yourself and then this kind of process um, through something like that? I mean, overall, kind of kind of really want to talk about that, but it's like, it's, it is what it is. Like, I'm just happy that I'm, I made the right decision to come here. And I'm very thankful for Coach Mitch and Coach Fickle for having me here. And uh, just want to just keep trying to get better and just um, move on with that. You had uh, some really good moments here early in practice. What do you think you've shown so far that can allow you to get reps on the field next year? Just just my 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 drive, my effort, my attitude, just just the me just being on the field. Like I bring a lot of physicality and I feel like I bring a lot of energy. So I feel like that's that's what this team needs and what I need from to continue to uh, build on myself. Um, to let them know that um, they can count on me if it, when it comes down to it and I wouldn't um, would want to go any other way. Just keep just keep the drive up and just keep my Keep telling myself I've been here before and keep my confidence up and just believe in myself and my teammates. One of the things that Coach Fickle used to describe you the other day was you brought, really brought a humble attitude to this. Was that something that you were intentional about? Like you wanted to kind of keep a low profile or kind of just keep your mind focused on the field? Or how did you kind of, why do you think that's maybe the word that you used that's to describe just, you? It's just me. Like how my, my mom, how my mom raised me and my, uh, my other four sisters. So, uh, just that's how I've been, I've been told, how I was taught, how I was raised. So it's something that's natural for me. It's not something I put on an act for. Like, yeah, I'm gonna act like this and do this. It's just something that I was, I was, just, I just natural. You're, you're the only boy running around the house. Yeah, so. <laughs> I have a twin sister. Oh, twin sister. Okay. celebrated me and her, me and her birthday today. So. Oh, you guys. Yeah, thank you. I apologize, we've got to ask this. Okay. But Matt Mitchell was saying that at your previous stop, you played three different positions. Yep. Can you describe what how they used you out there? Uh, uh, Syracuse? Yeah. Uh, so I played uh, like uh, Sam, and then I played off the ball. And then sometimes I'll play outside backer um, off the ball. So like, I'll run the middle seam, drop like cover three coverages. I'll be one play, I'll rush the passer, and then I'm lined up on the tap on guard, running blitzes. So it was just like a. Uh, it's a more, much more heavy workload, but I'm. But I feel like if I put my mind away, there's nothing could be too much for me. It was just, but now it's just like here. I'm just focusing on one thing and just rushing the passer and just causing havoc and stopping the run. 
So I feel like that just makes me like work on my, my, my technique more and my physicality and just become a better player.